there's only one solution for preventing cavitation in control valve that is go for multi-stage trim this is an absolutely wrong understanding cavitation has multiple solutions when you want to avoid it one of them is either you try to change the process parameters or you try to do valve modifications this can be further segregated but we we'll have to understand basically that process parameters means changing the variables outside of the valve maybe the pressure drop temperature etc valve modification is something you do inside the valve so for process parameters usually it is low cost or sometimes just no cost at all for valve modifications you will have some additional cost because you're going to add something in the valve now mostly the discussion always happens with respect to the valve modification so that is what we'll start with first we'll go with the waterfall example which is an amazing way to understand the valve modifications which is done but before that for just for 10 seconds we'll have to be very sure with our fundamentals so we'll recap and see the cavitation curve so grab your popcorns and let's start with that so imagine this is your valve put in a line now with the flow there is some restriction put so you're going to have a dp or a differential pressure created to it so the upstream pressure is p1 and the downstream pressure is p2 now imagine that this is your vapor pressure curve so what happens when the fluid is going to be at this particular uh, region the fluid is going to change from liquid state to vapor state and this stage is called as the point where the liquid changes to vapor phase now at the exact opposite side if you notice the va the vapor is going to turn back into liquid state here what is going to happen is the the bubbles are going to burst to come back to liquid state which is called as popping which has very high velocities that can damage the valve and the piping downstream this entire phenomenon is called as cavitation let's look into the waterfall example so imagine here's your dam and here's the water falling from it and here's the person standing just below it now for the second case imagine it is in a stage stepwise manner and the water is falling and here's a person standing now tell me out of both the cases what do you think which is going to hurt less it is usually going to be the case two, right? Why? Because we are reducing the pressure comparatively as compared to the case number one. Now, how does this example actually help in understanding valve cavitation and how can we avoid that? Let's do that. So here's our valve and here's our pressure drop that happens across the valve. Let the pressure drop across the valve P1 be 100 PSI and the pressure drop p2 after the pressure drop let it be 75 psi now what happens here is let the vapor pressure be 55 psi g so the curve is going below the vapor pressure so cavitation will happen now we try to have two valves in series smaller valves so they'll have a smaller pressure drop across it and now the first valve had the pressure drop of 50 percent which is 150 percent is 50 psi g here the recovery was 25 percent and 25 percent was lost so in a similar fashion here we have p1 as 100 psi g there is going to be this drop divided between both the valves so it's going to be 25 percent so here it's going to be 75 psi g and the recovery also will be divided between the two valves so 25 percent divided will be 12.5 12.5 so here 75 plus 12.5 is 87.5 psig so we get the first recovery and again the pressure drop is going to be of 25 percent so 25 percent of 87.5 is 62.5 psig and again the recovery of 12 percent 12.5 which is 75 psig now the amazing thing starts here if you notice here the p1 and the p2 that is the pressure at the inlet is same right if you see 100 psig 100 psig the pressure at the outlet is also same it is 75 psig and 75 psig however did you notice that the pressure curve in the second case did not touch the vapor pressure so cavitation did not happen isn't it great and this is because of this amazing factor called as giving time for the pressure recovery to happen so this is how we try to modify the valves or the arrangement of the valves in such a way that we can prevent cavitation but is it not difficult to maintain two valves and the pressure drop across them is there an idea that we can merge them together Hmm, that sounds like an interesting question, right? Yes, we can do that. There are some special kind of valves that are made. What they do inside the valve is in the trim, they make holes into it so that the pressure drop will happen eventually. And then the something was born, which is called a single stage trim and multi-stage trim. So depending upon how severe is the cavitation, we either have single stage trim or multi-stage trim. Now, which valve is less prone to cavitation? Is it the butterfly valve or the globe valve? What do you think is the answer? I'll give you the hint. 
glow valve has more pressure drop points as compared to butterfly tell me in the comments what do you think now for cavitation solutions what we have learned right now is there are process parameters and valve modifications we look first for valve modifications which is first is changing the valve design example butterfly as we said in the previous example would have just one point of pressure drop however globe will have multiple points it's better to go for globe then the second thing is stellated trim because stellated trim is basically where you just harden the trim material if the cavitation is not that severe so it can sustain the damage of cavitation for a long period of time if that's not working then you go for multiple valves but if multiple valves is an issue with you you can go for stage pressure drop trim which can further be divided into single stage and multi-stage trim now eventually we'll see the process parameters in the next session of the video before that if you want to learn about what when i say low severity and high severity when to use stellated trim when to use multi-stage trim there is a term by isa called as cavitation index here's the link to the video and so that you can understand this parameter also very amazingly so please subscribe so next weekend we learn about the process parameters and how can we prevent cavitation without spending a lot of money